And cold track lane restrictions are underway right now, but hot track closures will be in effect beginning at midnight, meaning the track will be closed to normal traffic less than two hours from now. Fox News Mike Allen is live now at the Las Vegas Convention Center, where workers on the Strip are parking and then getting a ride to work this week. Yeah, this is pretty unprecedented, John and Jacqueline. Workers having to come here to then commute to work. Really, it used to be on the Strip, the only time we'd see some full closures like this would be New Year's and maybe the marathon. But now, these workers on the Strip are seeing an entire week of closures in front of them, a week that they're calling uncertain. The Las Vegas Convention Center parking lots are expected to be packed during hot track hours this week for Strip workers. A good amount of people have been parking near the monorail station and taking the train into work. Employees at strip locations affected by the hot track received passes for the week. And 24-7 service on the monorail for those workers started early Tuesday morning. I talked with several of those strip workers who told me that even though the track is cold right now, they're playing it safe, considering all the traffic on and around the strip. Since there were no big crowds at the monorail station next to the convention center on Tuesday, there was little in the way of worry for the strip workers I talked with, at least for Tuesday. Later this week, though, is a much different story. Every person I talked with told me they're nervous about how their schedule is going to look when the track is hot. All of them tell me they're planning to leave for work at least two hours early. On top of that, some of them had to factor in more walk time than others since some parking lots at the convention center are a bit further away from the monorail station. I would not describe the mood as panicked at all, just a sense of uncertainty as we head into the teeth of F1 week. Now, in order to accommodate overflow crowds, which most of the people that I was talking with tonight are expecting starting tomorrow, the convention center has set up buses to shuttle people to and from the strip. And you won't see them tonight. You will start to see them, though, tomorrow. Again, the first hot track hours are going to be midnight tonight. And during those hot track hours, all eight of the monorail trains are going to be running. And those shuttles will also be taking people to and from the strip. Reporting live tonight at the convention center, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. And the monorail is now running nonstop until the Monday after the race. All the trains will be running at peak hours. They'll be able to carry 3,000 people in one direction each hour. Every employee who works at a property with disrupted parking access will get free monorail tickets to use for race week.